This is Shelton We're, Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti here at MWF Studios just north of Boston in Melrose, Massachusetts. John Cena Sr. is on assignment this summer. In this edition, let's check out Ring of Honor on Destination America from August the 5th, 2015. Fans, keep in mind that you are our tag team partners in keeping Boston Wrestling rolling and continuing to bring you a wide variety of free, great online content with our action-packed Millennium Wrestling Federation live events featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Time for Talking is done as our Support Indie Wrestling, Wrestlethon, Indiegogo campaign, and Mega Raffle are both online now through Monday night, August the 24th. You can win huge prizes and rewards while helping us produce our next MWF live event as well as finishing our Tony Atlas Studio Shoot Interview Documentary DVD. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that, folks. We're not looking for a handout. We've got some big-time perks for wrestling fans generous enough to help with our costs, giving you a chance to be the booker or be the promoter, to say the very least. Boston Wrestling is a giant umbrella of live event and media platform presentations to fans across the globe to be able to enjoy them at no cost. And our MWF Live Wrestling events are ready to heat up the northern part of the U.S. all over again. If you're seeing this video after our summer 2015 cutoff dates, remember, you can still help with a donation at any time using PayPal, with the bw at bostonwrestling.com email address to help with our continued productions in 2016 and beyond. WWE Network is heating up in August with SummerSlam August the 23rd. In Brooklyn, New York, The Undertaker faces Brock Lesnar for the first time since the streak ended at WrestleMania 30. If you're a new subscriber that hasn't taken advantage of your free WWE Network month yet, Use the links below and start enjoying WWE tonight. You can also help us out by doing your shopping on Amazon.com and WWEShop.com using our links below. No matter what you buy, even non-wrestling items over on Amazon, we get a small kickback for leading you their way, and it does not increase your purchase total one cent. It's a great way to help us out while you do your regular shopping, and it allows us to bring you even more great content. We'd also be happy if you joined us by subscribing for free to our YouTube channel. Starting to close in on 800 free videos for your viewing pleasure. If you enjoy what you see, share it with friends and click the like button on YouTube so it'll showcase our giant library to more and more professional wrestling fans. Ring of Honor opened up this week with a Roderick Strong promo. He put over his one-hour time limit draw with the Ring of Honor world champion Jay Lethal on the most recent iPay-Per-View. This match was put over much better and is being far more important than what they build as the biggest match in company history, the title for title bout at their June pay-per-view. Roderick Strong told Nigel McGuinness the next time Lethal defends the title, it's going to be against the opening contest. The Young Bucks defeated War Machine. It was good for what it was. Nick Jackson got injured outside of the ring, supposedly. AJ Styles took his place, yet somehow he wasn't involved in the announcement of the decision. Hearing Steve Carino scream super kick at the top of his lungs over and over and over again, it was a turnoff. I don't know if that's supposed to be fun. I don't know if it's supposed to be funny, but... It's not to me. I don't understand why talents like the Young Bucks need to do the, all the DX references, all the way down to having the same style T-shirt now. Too much talent for that kind of nonsense. I'm really looking forward to seeing Hanson showcased on a Ring of Honor TV show. I know we've seen a couple of tag matches now. They showed a couple of minutes of his matches with AJ Styles, but Hanson is someone that's going to be a player in this business. Great human being, great athlete. He overcame a lot of nonsense here in the Northeast to be where he is right now. Cedric Alexander defeated the Romantic Touch. As I watched this, I said to myself, are you serious? What wrestling fan wants to see the Romantic Touch? It was ridiculous. He had the valet Veda Scott at ringside. Why? She's not appealing. She's not a promo. So what's the point? I don't know what this builds towards or why I should care. Alexander tried to take the Touch's mask off, and then my boy the Moose ran in. I like the Moose. Had another quick promo from Jay Lethal. This was great, getting guys onto the show verbally, even if they aren't having matches. They need to do much more of this. It should have started in early June, not early August, but you know what? It's headed in the right direction. Adam Cole defeated Kyle O'Reilly via disqualification when Christopher Daniels attacked him from the announcer's table. 
Kazarian ran out afterwards leading to a challenge and a tag team match on the spot where Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly defeated the Addiction. Apparently a non-title matchup. Fine tag bounce there. Chris Sabin hit the ring after the match, followed by Bobby Fish in the kingdom. Stared everyone down from the entranceway. Not a bad hour of wrestling by any stretch of the means, but nothing that made me say, I have to watch this next week. I have to buy a pay-per-view. I have to buy a ticket to the next live event. It's just sort of there. The announcers can scream it's the best wrestling in the world all they want, but until they actually start to have the best wrestling in the world on free TV, I don't think anyone's going to buy it. Again, that's just one man's opinion. I want Ring of Honor to be a success. I want more fans to watch it on TV and to buy tickets to their live event offerings. But there's been very little overall to entice me since its June 3rd cable debut to do so. Would love to know what your opinion is, folks. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget our Support Indie Wrestling Indiegogo campaign and mega raffle that runs now through Monday night, August the 24th. You can win thousands of dollars worth of great wrestling prizes while supporting a great cause. We're running out of time this one, folks. Until we speak again, you and yours, be well. <laughs>